You know, our first guest is a man named Charlie, which is great because that is his name. For 15 years on It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, and you can next see him stretching his acting chops in the new romantic comedy, I Want You Back. It premieres February 11th on Amazon Prime Video. Please welcome Charlie Day. <laughs> Congrats on 19 years. Oh, thank you it's very really much. Good. I appreciate it. I mean, you got, I think. We got 15 years. You got you know 15, I mean? yeah. It's, it's close. It's no 19. <laughs> uh, the last my, four are the hardest, that's, really. Yeah. This was my first talk show, by the way. Nice. I'm reminiscing Mine about too. That. Same and here. I, I don't think I owned a suit yet. So <laughs> Is that up. true? Was there a time where you're like, you didn't have somebody like getting your clothes ready oh. for a television appearance? Yeah. Like maybe that all happened within the last like three or four years where I was like, you know, you got to. You gotta not go to like uh, Walmart to get your suit, but yeah, I'm yeah. stepping it up. Yeah, well, you look good, and you, I know. Hey, by the way, congratulations on your podcast. Um, last time your buddy, your uh, partner Rob was here, he, you were just about to launch it, and now it's like one of the top podcasts in in the world, I guess. You know? Came as a surprise, you know, because we said let's let's talk about the show, and and pretty much we just argue about parking spots and things like that. Yeah. But uh, people are enjoying it, and I recently thought, you know, maybe we need to mix it up and try some new things. So I'm thinking about adding a hotline, so we can just sort of talk to random people. Yeah. And I'm hoping that. So we, your your new development will be something that's been done on AM radio since, like, the <laughs> yeah, 50s. That's right, yes. yeah. Well, <laughs> people are tired of hearing celebrities talk, so let's, <laughs> let's hear from the people, the man on the street. Aren't you doing the Super Mario Brothers movie right yes, now? Yes, I am. OK, yes, and you're I playing am. Luigi. I'm playing Luigi, Luigi, yeah. yeah. In fact, I just was recording that this morning, and uh, I'd love to tell you all about it, but they, they are top secret with this stuff. Is that true? Yeah, absolutely. This is serious stuff. <laughs> this is, you know, these are these are Nintendo. So have cartoons. you read through the whole script? I know nothing. For real? I know nothing. I show up and they're like, you say this and you say that, and it's all very funny and good. And then I, I walk out and I, there's like two guys in overalls with like hammers that are like, don't you tell nobody nothing about this, Charlie. <laughs> I swear to God, we're gonna get your kneecaps, we're gonna break your neck. But you're like you're Luigi. You, you are one of the brothers. Like you have, they won't tell you. That's you know, insulting. You know, Mario's probably in the know, but they don't. <laughs> they don't tell Luigi anything. Do you guys record it as uh, together, like in this? Chris Pratt is um, is Mario, yes, right? Yes, uh, we do not. Uh, you don't. No, we go in one at a time. And wow. Yeah. They split you up. Yeah, yeah. Maybe they just don't trust me around Pratt. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. I don't know or maybe they're trick. Maybe this is all a trick, and like you're in a, you're doing voiceover with like, uh, like uh, Kevin Spacey and Bill Cosby or something like that, and they're gonna reveal this to you on, I, on I the would, poster. I would. <laughs> first of all, I would not be surprised. Secondly, I, I don't even know if I'm really in the movie. You know what I mean? It's, and I feel that way about every movie. It's about, it's about when I get like five weeks in. Actually, it's when it wraps and it's going to the theater that I'm like, I'm in the movie. They didn't, they didn't cut me out. Have you been cut out of a lot of movies? I've been cut out of one movie. Uh -huh. I, and did they tell you beforehand? They did not tell me, but, <laughs> but I only had one line, uh -huh. and that line was, I, I was a drug dealer in Washington Square Park, and uh, it was with Chris Rock and Anthony Hopkins. The movie was Bad Company, and I walk up to a lady, and I go, yo, mama, smoke, smoke? <laughs> <laughs> didn't, didn't make, it didn't make the cut. It didn't make the cut. So you went to it, and then you weren't in it. Yeah. I probably blew it. I might have said it backwards, like, <laughs> like smoke, mama, yo, yo, and they're like, if he can't. He can't get it right. You started off um, doing, uh, I know you did like voiceover for what channel was that? I, uh, I was the voice of the independent film independent, channel. Yeah, IFC, right. Yeah. So right. if you heard like, uh, coming up next on IFC, that was this voice for some reason, they, they decided that was a good How long good did you idea. do that for? I did that for three years. And <clears throat> by the way, I almost didn't get that job because uh, I was up for it and they said, okay, we want you to go record. And I had a callback for the movie Eight Mile. Do you remember the movie with Yeah, Eminem? Eminem's movie, sure. It was a great movie. Yeah. And Curtis Hansen was a great director. And I said, you know, I don't want to do this voiceover thing. I, I have this callback, and they're at the same time. I'm, I'm, I'm going to the, uh, the movie audition. And uh, my agent called me back, and he said, no, I don't, I don't think you understand. Like, you could buy a house <laughs> with this job. I'm like, 
well, what do you mean? Because I thought I was going to make like $70. They're like, no, you might make $70,000. So I went, I did the job, I did it for three years. I bought a house. I bought a house in the. Uh, really? Yeah. The day I bought the house, I went to record, and there was someone else in there recording. I thought, yeah, that's odd. This must be a scheduled mix up. And, and much like getting cut out of a movie and forgetting to tell, they had fired me <laughs> and forgot to tell me. So the day I bought the house, <laughs> I lost the job. Wow. So yeah, so I'm thinking, okay, I can't afford this house. You know, this is this is I'm in over my head. But that was the same day that I got a phone call um, from my manager saying, uh, you you sold your television show, it's always sunny in Philadelphia. So wow. It worked out. Isn't that crazy? It worked out. Charlie Day is with us. Do I, I want you back. We'll be right back. How about whenever we're feeling like we really have to call them? We just can't take it anymore. Uh huh. Instead of calling our exes, let's call each other. Mmm, I love that. Yeah. I love them because we're intercepting each other's sadness. Yes. Yes. We're each other's sadness sisters. Well, sadness sisters sounds like you're Diane Keaton, and I'm Meryl Streep, and we're in a Broadway play. But I like it. Yeah. That's a great cast. You should cast plays. There they are, two of the funniest people around, Charlie Day and Jenny Slate, and I want you back. Which is, uh, look at you in a romantic comedy. I mean, about time. It is I mean, about time. You know, um, I, I thought I was going to be too late. I'm turning 46. I'll be 40, by the time it comes out, I'll be 46. I was like, they don't want a 40-year-old guy. But I think I'm playing um, 15. So, you know, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you do, you have a youthful look. Thank you. The movie is about a couple. They both get dumped. And then, well, yeah, I don't want to they, ruin it. They anything, get dumped, but... and then they team up uh, to try to win their exes back. And basically, she uh, starts uh, flirting with uh, the new boyfriend of my ex-girlfriend. And I start trying to work out with uh, her ex-boyfriend, who's a trainer. And uh, I play a guy who's not in shape, so it was perfect, you know? You uh... <laughs> <laughs> Did you have to get in out of shape for that role? Did you? <laughs> I, I, well, I, there, there was a moment where I was debating, OK, like, do I get in shape as if it's towards the end of the movie and I've been working out with the guy, or do I stay out of shape for the beginning of the movie because the whole thing shoots too fast to kind of do the transition? And I thought, oh, out of shape because it's funnier. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, it's yeah, always yeah. funny. Yeah, nothing funny about a guy in shape. No, it's off putting. No. It's annoying. It's upsetting and frustrating. Yes, <laughs> yes. You need to talk to Rob. Tell him to eat. I, yeah. I do talk to Rob. Every, yeah. every, the year that he wanted to get in really great shape for the show, I was like, why do you want to ruin our show? <laughs> There's nothing funny about abdominal muscles. Your uh, wife, your in real life yeah. wife, is on the show. She plays the waitress on the show. It's yes. your unrequited uh, crush or love or whatever it is. And how long have you guys been married now? Uh, a long time. We've been together 20 years. You've been together 20 and years. And we've been married, I think, 15? You and Rob, uh, with Caitlin and, and Mary, your wife, you guys really took a big risk with being on the show because if, you know, God forbid something, you know, half of marriages don't work out. It sounds like the making of like a great Lifetime movie, right? Where it was like the drama on set and they were fighting and then this guy slept with that guy's wife. But, uh, you know, none of us are that interesting. Because <laughs> <laughs> you would have to potentially like write each other. I don't know what you You'd would do. You'd have to write, yeah. So I think our marriages will last as long as the show keeps going. That's probably why mm -hmm. we're doing it so long, you know? What was your first like on camera acting job? Not voiceover, but like uh, something. Well, I've done, I did a bunch of commercials. You did do commercials, right. How many did you do? I did a lot of commercials. Yeah, I can't remember exactly. Maybe 10 or so. 10, yeah. yeah. OK. I did a, a big one. I did a Cascade commercial. Yes, OK. Um, yeah. And they, this, was, this was an exciting gig for me. So they flew us to Miami, Florida to shoot this commercial. Now, nothing about the commercial takes place in Florida. But for whatever reason, they said, it has to be Florida. I thought, oh, OK, this is interesting. So it's myself and this older actor who's playing my father in it. And I'm on a plane from New York. And we land, and we check in the hotel. And he says, you know, do you want to go out to dinner? And I, th I think, oh, I guess so. And so we go out to dinner. And it's this very romantic dinner with me and this guy who's probably 70. <laughs> And the guy's coming over, he's playing violin, and he's like, would you love her like more soup? And I was like, oh, uh, uh, you know, and this was behind the times, but I was like, I, I, 
I'm not some Miami boy toy. I, this is, <laughs> I, yeah, I'm sorry. But it was fine. And, uh, they, you know, it was a good commercial. Well, we have the commercial, actually. You have because, the commercial? yeah, that's how it goes. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let's, Let's take a look. It. Let's see it. You finally made it. Thanks. Aww. So, you got your whole life ahead of you. What are you going to do now? <laughs> well, thought about working, eh. looked into retirement, looks good. I'm gonna play a little canasta, shuffleboard, golf, eat a little shellfish, salsa Saturdays, bingo Mondays. I'm retiring. Want a step you can really skip? New Cascade Complete helps you skip scrubbing and rinsing. You and know, that guy actually were very cute together. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He was an excellent lover. <laughs> he was. Charlie Day, Jim, and I want you back. It opens February 11th in movie theaters. We'll be right back with Coleman Domingo. Congratulations on making it to the end of a YouTube video. Why not celebrate by clicking the subscribe button? You earned it.